This version of Shiura's hollow clock uses a caustic lens to project a clock face onto the wall. Caustic lens can project a random image, but calculating the surface is a non-trivial task. Luckily I found some code on GitHub by Matt Ferraro, who has implemented an algorithm in the programming language Julia to generate the surface of a caustic lens from a random image. The code generates an object file, which was then edited in Fusion 360 and exported to an SDL file. To check if the lens is really creating the image I want, I used Blender to do a ray tracing simulation using the Lux Core Renderer plugin. Most caustic lenses I found were manufactured by precision CNC machining from clear acrylic, but I wanted to try SLA printing. I used an online printing service and the first lenses I got were nicely transparent, but the projected image was not recognizable. I figured that the changes in surface height were too small for the resolution of this LA printer, so I wanted to switch also to CNC machining. Unfortunately, I was not able to generate a step file out of the object file that could be used by any online CNC service. This is probably due to the large amount of facets present in the object file. So I continued with SLA printing, during several iterations, gradually lowering the focal length as this increases the differences in surface height of the caustic lens. I also reduced the detail of the image from initially 12 numbers to having only 4 larger numbers on the clock face. Finally, after spending hundreds of euros on 3D printing, I got a working lens. The parts of the clock were 3D printed by FDM printing using the original STL files of the hollow clock by Shiora, which were just modified a little bit in order to incorporate the caustic lens. Originally, I just wanted to place the clock next to the window and use natural sunlight to project the image. I then decided to build a small projector using an RGB LED in order to have the image also be projected when it's dark. <laughs> 